So the youth reveal is finally here. Is it what you expected? Was it worth the 57 day wait? Over 100,000 Solana traded volume in the first 24 hours, with Magic Eden taking back market share over other platforms and pushing over 200,000 traded Solana volume as well. Solana itself is pumping like an absolute madman, sitting at $38 at the moment when it was 32 bucks yesterday and seeing a 15% climb in the last hour alone. This having some correlation with Google Cloud and new announcements regarding some sort of collaboration or integration with languages coded on Solana. My name is Jersey, welcome on back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about a little bit of market information, NFT news, updates and whatnot, and of course, undervalued NFTs that I'm buying right now. If you're new to the channel, welcome on in. I'm not a financial advisor. I talk about pictures of, you know, this and that. So please do your own research at any time during today's video and your entire life. But yo, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me out. Help me push the algorithm. And hey, are you bullish on Solana? Are you bullish on the NFTs, the ecosystem, the token itself? We're here to stay, baby. Things are happening. All right, let's hop into the video. So I do have three projects that I do want to talk about in today's video. That being Jiken, Vandal, and the Kings. Also, a couple of other projects that I do want to just touch up on, go over the entire NFT marketplace as well, and just see what's going on in the space. So kicking things off, I do want to talk about Utes and Tubes, what they're doing, what's going on, how they look. They are sitting in 80 Solana floor price. And with mental math, that's about 3,100 to $3,200 at the current moment in time. And I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the artwork. I think it's very adaptable to the market. I think it's cute. It's friendly. It's clean. Obviously, if you compare this to a D guy, the artwork direction is entirely different, but I don't think that's a bad thing. With the youth reveal as well, we did get a bunch of one of ones that were made for the collection. And we have about 10 of these listed at the current moment in time. We have seen sales or trades for one of ones ranging from 500 to around 800 Solana at the moment, which is pretty crazy to see. Obviously, these ones are listed for pretty high at the moment. Not sure if they're going to be sold. But if you're watching this and you have this one of one, the vintage one of one, DM me. I want to buy it. Like, I think the hell one is probably one of the cleanest fucking looking ones out there that kind of resembles more D gods and brings over like that hell background trait. But either way, man, I'm pretty fucking surprised. I'm pretty happy with the art reveal for Utes, even though it was almost two months. Let's hop into the undervalued projects. So Jaiken Studio, I bought five or six of these last night for 2.7 to 2.8. I am waiting for the roadmap 2.0 and the art reveal for Jaiken as well. Art reveal slash art upgrade using their token to go ahead and get you a new PFP that unlocks some new things in the future for their futuristic plans for roadmap 2.0. I always was a fan of Jiken's artwork. I never disliked it. I always thought it looked good how it was. I didn't think they would do an art upgrade, but with the market stipulation and overall just movement and adaptation going on throughout everything, it is what it is. They gotta do what they gotta do. And I do think the new artwork looks pretty fucking sick as well. Obviously they did go for humans. You know, they went for these guys out there on the market. This guy looks a little, uh, off a bad trip but dude this artwork looks fucking insane again i'm gonna keep this a statement all right and i do stand by this i really like the old jiken artwork obviously this is like super fucking clean and really good but i still like the old artwork so i am very impressed with what they're doing i think this artwork is insane and we keep getting things about roadmap and white paper 2.0 almost being done new artwork is just around the horizon and stating that it's not just an art upgrade so at a floor price of 2.8 solana we're talking about you know 100 110 dollars at the moment very cheap entry we've seen these things pump up to eight before obviously with delays and things taking time and the artwork not coming out as fast as people wanted and of course impatience in the nft space is a big thing uh, so it's all about either waiting or timing your entries and exits at the right time so another project that kind of goes hand in hand with what jiken is doing is going to be vandals vandal city corp is doing the same thing i think they announced it first with a new art upgrade if you guys do not know vandal city and jiken do have the same artist as you can see the color palettes are very very similar on the older artwork that is being upgraded i'm not sure if they both use the same new artist but as we can see the artwork the color palettes the line direction behind it are very similar you might be wondering why are there different levels that have like no reveal on the market basically you could like train your vandal gain their token and get different experience points to level up your nft before this upgrade and a little bit of sneak peeks for the new vandals artwork apparently the artwork's like just around the corner as well for vandals it's like super fucking close and the art direction between vandals and jenkins new upgrades are pretty much very different we've seen a little bit of fud around vandals and this is not me fudding them people are just saying they look like d gods 
And I'm going to keep it a stack, okay? I'm going to be completely transparent and completely honest. Sure, the body figuring around these PFPs do kind of resemble D-Gods. But it's not to say it's like a copy by any means, okay? Like, all the traits are different. You know, some things do look similar, which, hey, it's NFTs, bro. People take inspiration from everywhere. I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying... I think these things look clean. Again, the figuration of the body, how it's facing, how it looks, does give off a little bit of D-God PFP feeling. But they look different, man, okay? They look good. They, they, oh, pfft, this trait combo is fucking clean. I don't know, man. I'm excited for what Vandals are going to do with these new upgrades, these new metadata changes. If it's going to be like a whole new collection, metadata upgrade, or something along the lines of that. But like, these PFPs are nothing like you've seen on the old Vandals, right? whole new trait sets, whole new rarity attributions, I'm assuming, and leveling up your current Vandal is going to help you, I think, get better traits and different rarities when revealing a new one. So at a 6 Solana, 5.8 Solana floor price, I think Vandal's pretty undervalued at the moment. I think we can see these things pump up to 10 plus easily again, but of course it comes with the price of smart money in, smart money out, people actually making trades on Solana, and we're in a bear market, so always do your own research. I'm holding two or three of these at the moment, just hoping for that art reveal to come sooner than later, so I can either make a flip, hold a grail, or see what they're going to do with these heists, these missions, and these ways they have revenue streams coming back to holders. All right, so I do want to talk about the Kings. They're sitting at a two Solana floor price at the moment, and this is kind of like a cross-chain service and tool pre and post mint service based project. They work on Ethereum, they work on Solana, and they work on Aptos. They have a launch pad, they have Web3 services, and IRL services as well. Plus, the artwork's fucking clean. It's something new. It kind of resembles a little bit of Gothic Degen, in my personal opinion. And I think they came out a little bit after Gothic Degen. But I still think they look clean. I like the traits. I like the sets. I think they're fucking running it, bro. But here we have a little bit of an overview of what the project has to offer. So for Solana, you get wallet collection, whitelist selling, and pre-sale tools. For Aptos and Ethereum, you only get wallet collection at the moment. There is a launch pad that does activate anti-botting, freezing, mint phases, reveals, vesting, dynamic prices, deflationary, royalty protector, auto wallet collection, auto pre-sale, magic verification, and wallet slash token mints. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Some of the Web3 services they do offer are staking, raffles, auction house, tokenomics, breeding, marketplace, doxing, website, airdrops, merch store, casino games, quite a bit as well. And then IRL services, legal consulting, B2B blockchain developer services. There's a lot of stuff going on with the Kings. So with it being a project that does strive on selling its services, I'm trying to wonder is, is there a rev share system? Are they giving back to the holders in some way? I think there was just an airdrop, which did lead to a little bit of a dump on the floor price where you could get a queen or something. Again, not 100% sure, don't FUD me. I'm purely going based off of the services and what they're doing for the project as a whole, rather than these airdrops and things that they've done, if they even did them. All I know is I heard something about an airdrop, getting a queen, burning this, burning that, deflationary, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, they claim to be an Omnipad, which means they're doing three different blockchains, Ethereum, Solana, Aptos, bunch of services, bunch of tools, pre and post mint, IRL services, Web3. I think it's a sleeper, man. If they find a way to reward holders in a good way of collecting these service fees and injecting it back into either rewards, holders, or just the project in general for expansion, I think it's ready to take off. So again, we're talking like 70 bucks right now, 75 bucks, give or take, right? Pretty cheap in my personal opinion. So please do your own research. Be safe out there. Let's talk about why tubes are 25 plus soul ahead of youths. So if you were a dead god holder, you were earning a lot of dust every single day from staking your dead gods. You could use that dust to mint these tubes, but you'd also have to use one of one with a dead god. So one dead god equaled one tube, plus you had to pay some dust. So at the time, it was like a 15 or 20 Solana mint, give or take for a tube. They pumped to 200. You could have 10x super easily and pulled out like $15,000. Um, but we saw these things dip down to 80 yesterday. They're back up to 106. My own opinion is people are buying these as a gamble to still mint the utes. Basically, you get a tube, you can go to the mint website, you can burn the tube to to get a ute and you could reveal a rare one a rare trait a one of one or better right so that's kind of like the gamble right now is this sort of burn mechanism to get a more rare ute personally i did have five tubes i wish i would have kept one just for like this the, the chance of getting like a legendary later down the road but i revealed five pretty uh mid ones to say the least d gods were at 260 solana just before the ute's reveal slash mint and now they're at 223 a little bit of a pullback i mean bro it makes sense people are looking to exit take profits and move money into other things when volume comes in and out 
months. But in my opinion, it's time to get fucking D-Guys on sale. There's some pretty clean ones out there between that 220 to 300 range that could trade for, you know, 400, 500 plus when the market's back in a good standpoint. Smiths, The Ascension. The Ascension opens at 6 p.m. UTC, November 7th. One collection, two PFPs, where will fate lead you? So Blocksmith Labs is going a completely different direction here. They're dropping two PFPs, one collection, Smith the Ascension, kind of diverting from the Blocksmith Labs name, creating a new collection. Um, So this, this website's super interactive. There's probably an Easter egg somewhere here. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I have no fucking idea. Can I like walk or anything? No, nah, I can't. But yo, oh wait, skip story. Hang on. Oh wait, gates will open in two days and one hour. Home, upgrade, switch, stake, rarity, shifter. Um, so there's a couple of like little lore based things here. We can't click them, they don't do anything. But I mean, dude, this is a fucking beautiful representation. Shouts out to Blocksmith Labs, bro, for real. They're sitting at like a 100 Solana floor price at the moment, which is very high. They're talking like $4,000 at the moment, which isn't crazy seeing as they were, you know, five, six, seven thousand when Solana was a little bit higher. But a lot of people like to compare Solana, you know, number compared to price. Like, oh, if you do a two soul mint, it's a lot of money. But in reality, it's like 50 bucks or it was 60 bucks. I don't know, man. I'm super hyped for Blocksmith Labs. I think this could be really huge. Will we see a little bit of a sell off? I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing yet. So there's obviously going to be that FOMO beforehand. There's going to be that sell off afterhand. And we'll just see how the market takes it. But yo, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's video. I really do appreciate the support. Like I said, I want to come back to YouTube. I kind of slacked this week. I'm not going to lie, but I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day as well. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Burzy YouTube account as well. It's for like more gaming, zombies, COD content. And uh, live streams coming back soon. So turn on notifications. All right, have a good day. I love you guys. Peace out.